Right. Now uh, we're going to pick up on uh, page uh, 8, I believe. Yes, page 8, part 2, experiencing double and single replacement reactions. A single replacement reaction. Cut a piece of magnesium ribbon that is approximately 8 centimeters long. So let's see, I've got my ruler here. And I'm going to get to about 8. And again, the exact length doesn't matter. But what does matter is that whatever length we cut, we actually measure it exactly. And I'm going to stick, so I have my ruler right here so that the end, very end, is zero because it's right on that zero line. And I've got 8.1. Eight point one. I'm going to go with six. Eight point one six, and whatever, and that's in centimeters. And it says it right here on the table, but I'm going to write it anyway. So centimeters, and then you're going to yes, use to the nearest 0.01 centimeters. Good. Record the length. Uh, fold the piece of magnesium ribbon so that it is small enough to fit inside of the uh, 25 millimeter graduated cylinder. I don't know if you can see this. There we go. But I'm folding it very tiny. And it's breaking as I go, which is fine. So as long as you don't lose any. Yep, see, it broke right there. Uh, but I'm going to hold on to it. And I curl it around. What we want is we want it to fit inside and there's another piece that broke off and next record the mass of the magnesium ribbon wait for the dot to appear you see the dot the dot is not there the dot is there yeah there it is all right and i get 0 0.14 grams So I've written that down. Um, take a picture, click with your ribbon, and while it's not always a good idea to put your it right on the scale, uh, in fact, it's probably, uh, so it's, I would not recommend this in general. This is a solid material, it is non-reactive um, with the scale, so it's an okay thing to do. Next, place exactly five milliliters in a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder. I've got this right here. And I'm going to add my magnesium to it. I'm going to slide it down the side so it doesn't splash too much. And can you see that? Ah, uh, yes, lots of bubbles. Good. And uh, that I'm going to just let go. And so uh, this is going to take, it says, 20 or 30 minutes. Um, and I don't know if we can get a better picture of that at the side there. Just so many bubbles right now. And those are bubbles of hydrogen gas. And uh, I thought about doing an experiment where we tried to capture the hydrogen gas and uh, do an experiment with that, but that turned out to be trickier than I thought. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this aside for 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, mm. yeah, definitely feel the, uh, um, graduated cylinder, uh, you can start to feel it getting warm. This is an exothermic reaction. It gives off energy. Uh, and it's not too warm yet. It's getting there, though. And I'm going to set this aside. And uh, we'll come back when it's done.